We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums. We're going to be taking a first look at Theria, or Thyria, or Thyria. I, I've got nothing. Uh, it's from Two Cats, Grab the Games, and it released into Steam Early Access today, February 29th, 2024. You guys will be able to grab it and play it and do all that cool stuff. I believe there's also like a prologue or something that you can uh, pick up and try for free and see if it's something that uh, you want to get into. Plus, you can just you know, watch this video and see if it's something that interests you. Either way, we're here for it. Uh, big shout out and thank you to Two Cats, Grab the Games, and Keymailer for giving me up the code for this. It means a lot and it is truly appreciated. That being said, uh, I've just launched it. It just updated, in fact, and uh, it's time. Let's do it. I get to enter a game name. Enter. I already did that before. All right. Uh, game name it is. I normal, I guess. It is the recommended game difficulty. Uh, enemies will scale and have less attributes than your guardian's crew. Ambushes and dreams will be less uh, relentless. All right. Kriate. Okay, I can't have a space. All right, no space allowed. That is the game name. I like it. Let's do this thing. A dawn in the feverish light over a barely awakened forest. A stream and its whispering within a valley. A cottage at the end of a hidden wood. A stranger knocks on the door, bringing with him his fears and mysteries, but also the beginning of an incredible story. You can press tab to select the next enemy. Oh, oh yeah. Hmm, hmm, some living soul, please. Forgive my intrusion. That's an old man. Okay, uh, please, I, I need your help. <laughs> Welcome, ancestor. Know that I was waiting for you. What? I, you're expecting me? I'm confused. I think you were mistaken. My arrival is impromptu, and I hope to solicit... Don't worry, old man, I'm ready. A little more time wouldn't have hurt, but I might as well enjoy your presence. Uh, okay. That, yes, very well, but I... You will be my first guinea pig, ancestor. I know you're wondering about the curse that has fallen upon your village. And rightly so, because this evil will eat away at you like a gangrene. Okay. Sure. But well, one thing at a time. I'll take care of your case first. Get rid of your torments. Your misfortune is insipid. Ins incipient. Uh huh. Uh, it will be easy to lift, and it will be an excellent start for me. I'm going to put you to sleep. Take advantage of your sleep to interfere with your dreams. They harbor the fears that feed the curse of your village. Pleasure? Sorry, not... It, is your arm on fire? Come a little closer. I have no idea what just happened. What? Were, were, did, what was that a conversation? Were they talking to each other? I, I'm, I'm very confused. That's okay. Uh, this glows. This thing is a thing that is a thing. A lot of locks. Obviously, we're gonna click up there. What is this? It just it just glows. Okay. What what, what is this? Ah, relic. It's the cube. This relic seems to be the oldest among them all, as far as Thyra can tell. The cube conscious has always protected her. Cube, the cube's conscious? Conscience? Con okay, it's fine. I don't... The surface is constantly moving, and the inside let guess a blue heart is beating in there. The witch learned how to absorb, but also channel the ether from and into the cube so that she can protect herself and reinforce her soul stones. This is the entry door to feel armed against the nightmares. Okay. Uh, all right, let's click where they want us to. We can click if we want to. Uh, thi 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 oh, it was Thyra before, now it's Thyria. Okay, so 
there's definitely some dialogue and stuff that needs to be a little cleaned up. Totally fine. Again, just hit early access. There's still time to do stuff and make things better. So, no big deal. No hate. Uh, I can pick up one out of two soul stone with the day affinity. The stone will allow you to create your first guardian. Okay. A soul stone imbued with light enables heal, fire, and burn aptitudes. A soul stone imbued with time enables crowd control, time management, and cold dealing our aptitudes. A uh, soul stone imbued with defense enables taunting protective measures and physical dealing aptitudes. And finally, a soul stone imbued with armaments memories. Okay. Enables physical abilities and relentless aptitudes. Do I choose? I guess I choose one. Alright, I'll go with this small boy over here. Now we can pick our second one with the Knight Affinity. Our, our first guardian as well. A soul stone imbued with shadow enables shadow energy, sneaky attacks, and crowd control aptitudes. Uh, death magic enables lingering damage and morbid abilities. Uh, this one's pure rage enables powerful melee blows, bleeding, and move aptitudes. I kind of like that one. Uh, and finally, Nature's Grasp, Poison, Magic, Corpse Manipulation, and Summoning Aptitudes. I think I gotta go with this one. Doesn't feel good, but we have healing and stuff. It feels like we can summon some stuff, maybe. I don't know. Using two crafting items allow to create guardians, equipments, charms, or trinkets. We'll drag and drop materials onto the table slot, then launch the fusion. Witchcraft level increases with each fusion and unlock rewards. Soul dust will allow you to create new soul stones. Stones and trinkets can be recycled for soul dust. Okay. One and two. Uh, what, is, what do I do? Would you like to mix a hundred dust to create a random so I mean no this is fine probably probably fine I created a new guardian a new guardian with an ar archetype uh, witch doctor has joined your roster you'll be able to browse them after your first dream completion here's a glance at their aptitudes uh, yeah I know I know I, I made this okay seems fine all right I guess we should probably do this We have a sapphire. Yeah, no, that works out really well, actually. So physical and then like bleed and movement. So we should get like a warrior or a paladin. There you go. You'll be able to browse them after. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. And we got ourselves dig and dig more. What? That doesn't sound right. But apparently it is. Okay. Why does dig more seem worse? Hmm. And then raging blow and raging throw. Okay. I think that's that's about it. What am I what am I doing? I mean I already did this. What is okay? Do I do I back out? Okay, yep, down here now. The main story continues and displays objectives along with Thyria's level. Thyria can equip and reinforce her guardians, crew, and herself. A summary of bonuses is indicated. Uh, the equipment in, is displayed here. Destroying equipment will grant dust. Okay. So we have those two things, and there's a candle. It's a candle dagger? This heirloom artifact provides unique features. The item is providing the following spell light. Yeah, okay. We can see the various different things. It's protected from death, then the item will break. And clearly see ghosts around. Gains light spell during inception. Uh, 
Oh, we also have boots, apparently. Ha boots. A pair of boots that I can wear known to provide swiftness. This item is providing the following effect. Oh, okay. Cool. Alright, sweet. Now we go to the book. The Grimoire displays cursed uh, patience with their objectives. Level of difficulty and dangers. Thyra can pick one. Uh, the Ser Ser Serengu uh, drag and drop to increase the difficulty, but also the reward. It's possible to rewrite a patient's page with ink. Uh, the main story continues, but there's a level... Okay, okay, yeah, cool. All right, I did that. Um, old man... Oh my god, there's so many things happening. All right, the old man's going to be the patient. I expect the dream objective. How, how, do, how do I do that? Uh-huh. Okay, inspect the dream time start. What, what, is, what, oh, down here. Okay. The ghost multiplier. Is that up here? Influences the amount met by ghost, 75%, okay. Um, change the value once. I don't... How do I... Reroll... No, I don't want to do any of that stuff. Alright, th this is fine. How do I... What do I do with this? Oh, and then it goes over here. Ah, I see. Cool. The Guardians protect Thyria in the dreams during the battles. Positioning on the battlefield can place your Guardians on the battlefield before going in the dream. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's it'd be like this, huh? That's our Paladin. This is our... This is our Witch Doctor. I guess we're going to go with that. I don't know how this is going to work. I suppose we'll find out. That'd be good choice, mon. Here I am, plunged into the nightmare of the old man. My first exploration. It's time to put everything I've learned into practice and purge this curse. Finally, my revenge begins to take shape. You, go the furthest when you don't know where you're going. Come on. What? What does that even mean? Move with right clicks. Throw a fire sheaf with Q at the cursor position. Uh, okay. Find the exit thanks to your Q. Press G. Each skill consumes ether. Browse items in your satchel. And check objectives resume here. Leave the dream before it's too late. Okay. Uh huh. Send something with G. Hold on, how, how do I, sorry. Cube is G, Q, Q is a hmm. fire sheaf. All right. The sheaf, all of the sheaf, all of the sheaf. No. Nope. Uh, okay. Where, where's the satchel? Oh, down here, I see. Okay. I guess we're gonna go kill one ghost. Hello, little witch. I am an anchor to the infected dreams. A rest of memories. Hello. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, you said that. Can we do battle or. Familiar presence? Okay, no, I guess that's not really a thing. Oh, no. Oh, God. 
Don't touch our ghost friend. Well, that was weird. Uh huh. Okay. Hide or open the symptoms. Oh, I didn't actually get whatever this is. Oh, okay, I got it now. Uh, how do how does one what are, what are symptoms? I don't, I don't know. Oh, we can see more stuff here. Oh, there's something that we missed back the other way. How long are we supposed to be here? This is all very confusing. Prepare yourself a nightmare. As nightmare creatures come closer to the Thyria, the cube starts shaking and you hear Guardian's incantations. Oh, we're just randomly getting thrown into battle. All right. Let's do this thing, you very bizarre-looking creatures. Battles are turn-based. Each guardian can play one skill at their turn. The turn-based are governed by the time bar. When all guardians or enemies played, a new round starts. The playable skills are in color. They can target enemies or allies. The skills can cycle depending on if it's night or day. Skills require ether. Other resources can be consumed, life... Corpse. The guardians can move, play later, or skip their turn. These actions, well, those actions complete the turn. Uh huh. Death blow. Way of the heart metabolize. Oh, what the heck is that? Do we do we know how much damage these things do? Fifteen point nine, are you serious? No, we've been poisoned. What does this do? Destroyed, we are metabolizing again. You shall fall before- wait, why did that do less damage to him? Hatching? What? Come on, pop up. What does this do? He should be bleeding. Alright, I'm just gonna do this one. Division. A little, 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 little bit, a little bit of damage over there. Metabolize that. Come on, show it to me. All right, I'm gonna poison him because oh. I apparently I murdered him straight up. Victory! Your guardians have vanquished those dream invaders. Your cube has absorbed 16 cube experience. Or U cube, as it were. Oh, there was stuff I could have done in combat there, look like. Inspect various different things. As the abominations disappear, Thyria, or Theria, or Thyria, or Thyria. Diarrhea? No, I'm kidding. Um, feels the surroundings less threatening and the patient more stable. The threat bar is depleted and Thyria heals her mental health by half a point. We killed a ghost. Yeah, we did. We killed a ghost with an inky bib or something. I, I got nothing. I still don't know how to hide symptoms. What is it? Is it this symptoms? Oh, there we go. Expect one dream event. Hmm. Uh oh. You won't always find me, but if you do, I'll have a request for you. Can you tell me what is 
the relic that allows to penetrate dreams? I, I, I can. It's the, uh, hmm. the soul mirror. Exactly, Little Witch. The soul mirror is the frontier between reality and thoughts. I bet you have plenty of relics, and if you wish to know more about them, you can right-click something thing and stuff and jump. All right. Cool. I'm going to head off into the woods. I gathered some knowledge. Into my cube of destiny. It's weird that we're so far off the beaten path. I like that we could just do that. Oh, here we go. Another battle's coming. I believe we've got this. But maybe not, because we're already bleeding for some unknown reason. Alright, hold on. Inspect the enemy's level. Uh-huh. Inspect an enemy level. Didn't I just do that? How, do, how, how does how does one do that? Okay, I did that. Our inspect the currently playing guardians archetype or art archetype. We have the heart. Well, I know you're a paladin, but where does it tell me that you're a paladin? Apparently I did it at some point. Move or exchange position with another guardian. Delay the turn of one guardian. Alright, I'm going to delay the turn. I don't know that I'm ready to necessarily do anything. Guess I can kill that guy. Oh, critical. Well, that is ungood. Um, how do I... Uh, I guess I can move. You fool! I don't like that this thing is like spreading here. That is unfun. Alright, well, we did all the cool stuff and we got a reward experience, uh, cube experience as a reward. So I guess I'll take that. Bunch of things. We got some metabolism going on. We got some, some, uh, Pedialyte. Metabolite. Oh, it's nighttime. He's gone purple. But we got different skills now. Our axe does not do a lot of damage. What about our... Eh, whatever. Alright, just gonna hit him. Hopefully we're, we're better as the Beach Doctor. Flick the burn status. Or... Deal four damage. It says regain. We earn two ether. Weird. All right. Well, he's gonna burn for it. And I think he just dies to the burn. Oh, he divided. He did long division or something. Critically hit with poison. Okay. Critically hit death blow there. We'll take it. Out. We got bit by one of the little babies. Oh, oh, babies. And... I believe we said good day, sir. After the burn's coming. It's coming. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait, he didn't burn? Oh, that's annoying. Alright. There we go. Victory! Yeah, we got beat up pretty bad there. That did not feel good. As the abomination disappears, okay. What does F do?
You fools. You don't stand a chance. Wait, hold on. Attack that way. That's interesting. All right, and now we're gonna do actual battle that we've initiated and engaged with. All right, we get the little, little, little head boy there, run around. It is still nighttime, which I'm not a massive fan of. Okay, try that. Poison up on the boy. Oh, he, he cell divided. Uh, not great. I don't like that he's able to like move immediately after cell division. He avoided it. Oh, that's not great. This one should die to just poison, I would assume. Our guardians are getting less good at their their job. All right, and the bleed. The bleed is real. That was a pretty incredible bleed. It's like a hole. Oh. There's like a black hole here. Oh, that was uh, the the torment. You just go there and you finish it up. Okay, cool. The patient is saved. Aria can now leave or stay a bit more. Leaving will provide all rewards acquired through quest validation, satchel items, killed monsters. If you decide to stay and die, you will lose it all. Harry healed oozing wound. Okay. And we get all this stuff. I think I'll accept and leave. I would probably do more another time, but for the first look, I think this is a, a good spot to come back and see what happens next. Well, uh, back to reality. You wake up, old man. Uh, what, what happened? I put you into a deep sleep and slipped into your nightmare. With the help of my guardians, I dislodged your demons. You are free of them. Incredible, I feel so relieved. The intangible burden that had oppressed me has disappeared. How to thank you, witch? And what is the name of uh, my liberator? Your deliverance is enough. <laughs> but if you want to express your gratitude to me, send the message, message to the residents of your hamlet. And have them come and consult me as soon as possible. Tell them that their evils will be appeased by a witch. The Theria Witch. Thyria. Ooh, fireball. To our arsenal. Beautiful. I like it. Alright, so it looks like we kind of redo that. Uh, I don't want to say ad nauseum, but like over and over, and that's kind of how things progress. Uh, it looks like there's more exploration to be had as we, as we move around in the world and we do things. There'll be random stuff that we have to battle just toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and then there'll be the things where we have our guardians doing guardian things but i think we're gonna go take a peek up here we have all these various items uh it looks like some of these can be crafted and others maybe not so much and there is a crafting bench looks like i can put this and maybe this in here and then something might happen we created a new orb a new nail orb has been added to your satchel, and it can be used on equipment or charms. And we've earned a hundred witch dust. Place a trinket with the category bones on the crafting bench. Reroll all modifiers of one equipment or charm. It's pretty cool, and again, we can continue to draw stuff together and craft things 
Uh, we made a tooth trinket. Bones and cartilage. Uh, these runic dusts will return to the ground. I, I don't know what that means. We just made a more rare thing. Create one charm. Well, wait, a limb and a limb. Okay, that seems odd. How about thread and a limb? How about thread and a tooth? That seems like that would make like a charm you would hang around your neck. Oh, we just made a better thread. Okay, well that didn't work at all how we had planned it. We have created a new orb. The blood orb has been added to your satchel. Okay. And what if we combine these two? What happens? Nothing. No, that doesn't do anything either. Interesting, though. Alright, let's see what this does. Hey, we created a new charm. A new seal common charm has been added to your satchel. It can be equipped on your guardians. Increases the power by two. Place one stone on the crafting bench. I don't know that I can do that. Oh, soul stone. Create one piece of equipment. What happens if I do this? Oh, something's gonna happen. Death magic. Alright. See what happens here. I created some equipment. A new helmet. Uncommon equipment. Low. It's just low helmet. Has been added to your inventory. Okay. And we got um, some rare equipment. Apparently. And we got some random gloves as well. We can open the recipe book. Uh, how? I, I don't... Oh, 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 over here. Okay, that kind of makes sense. And then trinkets. Her. Pick any recipe ingredients and see the result. Okay, that all kind of makes sense. Cool. And we got that as a reward. Very, very, very cool. And then we can continue to bounce around and do stuff. But yeah, no, I think this is, uh, is quite enjoyable. I think we're going to do this as our final act. Before we break off the thing, we have an amethyst. I think it's spelled wrong, maybe. Um, which uh, it's imbued with shadow energy okay and then we got one of these heal fire and burn Let's see what we get this should not be a witch doctor this time it's a, it's a herald that's going to join us well there you go and then we back out we of course build our group and everything else that we do Anyway, right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to be where we break off this first look video. I think uh, there's some, you know, rewriting and stuff that needs to be done. Some of the language needs to be cleaned up. But the idea, the premise, uh, the gameplay, the loop, all the stuff, it, it all works. It's quite fun. Uh, definitely something you can get a little deeper into. Play around with various different combinations. Try different character... Uh, I, I guess, again, combinations again. Or just like different synergy, synergies with the different characters, maybe. Something along those lines. Or just trying the different characters in general, even just by themselves, to see what they do, what they offer, and what they can provide. Uh, and the idea that she's a kind of a dream witch with a flaming arm is a bit strange, but cool. And she's going into people's dreams to battle monsters and free them of whatever curses or plagues them. It's kind of an interesting premise. You get equipment that you can do, you can get stuff that you can add to your actual guardians. 
and then you have a little bit of like moving around on a map plus you have your like little fire attack to battle the enemies that pop up there but every once in a while on occasion you actually have a turn-based battle where your guardians get to shine so i think it's pretty cool um i'm very curious to see how the game develops as it goes through its early access period if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, the publisher, any of that stuff, down below in the description of the video, there'll be various links, just like there always are. And until the very next episode, folks, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.